did Jesus successfully accomplish his ministry? Jesus maintained a positive attitude and he kept preaching to everyone, even though some of them was indifferent to his message. He knew how much people really needed the truth and he wanted to give all the opportunity to accept God's message. He also knew that some would not accept the message right away, but some of the same people would eventually accept it or respond to it. Remember Jesus' own brothers? They did not become his disciples to after his resurrection. So we should imitate Jesus' positive attitude because we do not know who will eventually accept the truth if they don't accept it when we first give it to them. Some people may take longer than others to respond to our message. Those who do not choose to listen to us right away, because of sometimes our attitude and our conduct, and to turn people around to accept the truth. Now, even though we will follow Jesus' examples, we must realize the whole role in this matter. Let's read together 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, verse 6 and 7. And 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, verses 6 and 7, it says, I planted a pile of water, but God kept making it grow. So that neither is the one who planted anything, nor the one who waters but God makes it grow. So as we preach and teach, we see the only person that can help these people grow is Jehovah. Now, Jehovah uses us like a rescue. If you realize if a person is trapped in a mind, they say rescue people to trap get them out of that mind. So we have the privilege to work along with Jesus and gather these people of all the nations. We do not know who will be rescued from Satan's system, but we know that Jehovah will use us and can use us as these rescuers. Let's read Ecclesiastes 11, chapter verse 6. Let's turn it together and read that. It says, Sow your seed in the morning, and do not let your hand rest until the evening, for you do not know which will have success whether this one or that one, or whether they will both do well. So our attitude too should be that we will not give up on the people that we preach to. Let me give you an example. We have a brother who served in Ethiopia. He said for more than 20 years, he was the only witness in his set of work territory. And now there's 14 publishers. 13, 13 of them got baptized, including his wife and children. Don't that remind you of Jesus and his brothers? Now they have an average of 32 people at their meeting. He said that he glad that he continued to preach with patience and he waited on Jehovah to draw out the honest what part it was into his organization. <coughs> we have another brother from Bolivia. He said that each person who learned Bible truth to get baptized is a result of a group effort. Turn with me to John the sixth chapter, verse 44. Let's read that together. John the 6th chapter, verses 44. And it says, No man comes to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will resurrect him on the last days. So we see that Jehovah is the only one that can draw a person to the organization, and he do that with his loyal love. <coughs> now to help us in our ministry, we can work on improving our speech and teaching skills. We can do this by setting the goal of uh, following each quality that's found in the brochure, apply yourself to reading and teaching. We can study each one of these qualities one at a time and practice it at home. And we also can get suggestions from our auxiliary counselor and our elder. Now let's remember these four points. Point number one, our preaching work is like a rescue mission under Jehovah the Jesus care. Point number two, Jehovah the all-in-one that can make a person progress and grows. Point number three, Jesus remained positive and kept preaching to everyone even though they did not accept this message at first. And number four, the most important one, remember, do not give up on them. 
May we maintain a similar positive attitude towards our ministry as Jesus did. If we do so, Jehovah will bless our ministry and we will be a real joy, a source of joy in our ministry.